Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about the fifth beta of iOS 18. Now we have a lot of details here to share with you guys, but before we get into all that, let's first talk about the last beta, which is beta 4. And we actually had a re-release of beta 4 just yesterday from Apple. It's really interesting that we had like two re-releases we had that for beta 3 and then also for beta 4. now when something like this happens of course you don't expect to see any new features or changes these are basically just like urgent fixes that apple releases to beta testers for ios 18 in this case of course because we have a long way to go until the next beta they have to actually push these fixes and improvements right away and there it is we have this new re-release for beta 4 which should come to your device at around 200 to 300 megabytes of course always different on different devices and always different based on which software you're currently in if you're on beta 3 this will be of course probably way way bigger if you're on beta 4 it should just be like a couple of hundred megabytes so that's not just a big deal at all as you can see right here on the iphone 15 pro max is actually at 264. Now while talking about beta 4 here let's quickly take a look at how it has performed when it comes to battery life so there we have the battery lives for beta 4 so yesterday 50 percent battery three hours 59 minutes and then we have a ride here about 85 percent battery eight hours 25 minutes and then here we have 80 percent battery seven hours 49 minutes and not that bad and again right here the battery health is currently at 93 percent so the battery life is actually quite decent the performance overall on beta 4 is actually quite good you don't get those like bugs and glitches that you usually get with the initial betas that basically seem to have like everything unstable it's very very stable and it works really smoothly now here we have also the Geekbench score from Geekbench 6 for iOS 18 beta 4. It's actually quite good and it has been improved a bit from beta 3. You can see the multi-core score is at 7048 while we have a single core score at 2830 which is quite a decent score most likely with the next betas it will also continue improving and until the public release we should have a great score here for iOS 18. And now let's talk about some more features of iOS 18 beta 4 where, that we didn't have the chance to mention before. First of all, when you go to customize your home screen, of course, we have that now the new options here for the dark mode and light mode. What's really cool and what I have seen here that has been improved is that now when you use dark mode on your device, if you choose the light mode here, it actually works properly. So you will have the icons on light mode, even though your device is on dark mode. Another thing that you can notice right here is that it's actually quite smooth. So whether I change the light mode to the tint or to the dark mode, you can see how smooth that changes right there. So it's actually really, really awesome the way, of course, it should be. And even dimming, undimming the wallpaper in the background, it works really, really well. I really like this update. A beta 4 has been great. And you will also notice that a lot of third party apps will also have this dark mode now on iOS 18 beta 4. It's amazing seeing all these icons on dark mode is pretty cool. Hopefully all of them will get that feature really, really soon. Moving on to the control center. Now, if we go to add a new toggle here on the control center or a new control, how Apple calls it, we can see that if we go under shortcuts here, we have this new like bigger toggle for shortcuts. Of course, we have here one which you can use to open an app via the shortcuts app. And then here have one from where you can actually launch a shortcut. And this right here is really cool. I'm not sure if this is new to beta 4 or it has been here before, but it's pretty cool. So you can swipe actually your finger like that right here and move quickly between the different pages of control center that you have on your iOS 18 device. And now let's move on and talk about beta 5. Now beta 5 will probably be it. 
taking a look at everything here on the Apple website, you can just see that the Beta 5 will be the one that Apple will introduce the new AI features, the Apple intelligence features. So this is the dev website and we have the Apple intelligence page right here. If we scroll down right here, you can see something really interesting. It says, get ready. Apple intelligence will be available in an upcoming beta. Now this used to say will be available this summer. Now it has changed to an upcoming beta get started with documentation videos and forums so basically apple is planning to release ai features in the next beta now these ai features will most likely be not all of them we will see some of them like maybe the image playground the gen emoji features you can see right here most likely the new ai for siri but there will be also a lot of different features that apple won't actually release with this beta nor they will release with the next beta so they should be released sometime next year there are features that will actually will be actually released as late as spring next year so probably with 18.4 and maybe even 18.5 some of them like screen awareness for siri in-app actions for siri those are some of the features that actually will be delayed quite a lot and of course as we know not all news are good news when it comes to apple intelligence unfortunately these features will be available only for the newer iPhones. So if you have a 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, and of course the newer iPhones that will be released in September. And when it comes to iPads and Macs, only the iPads and Macs with an M1 chip or newer will have the new Apple intelligence features. Now another really interesting feature that is coming to iOS 18 is emergency SOS live video calls. So this is a new feature coming to iOS 18. As you know, Apple always does a great job when it comes to these kind of things like emergency and privacy and all this, and they will be doing this. This is a feature that will come to iOS 18 probably with the next updates of iOS 18, and it will be amazing, probably a lifesaver for a lot of people. So what's next? For iOS 18, when can we expect a beta 5 and of course the next betas as well? Well, I expect Apple to actually release the fifth beta of iOS 18 on August 5th or August 6th. One of these two days will be the day that Apple releases the next beta for iOS 18. Now, I was actually surprised to see that Apple didn't release any AI features on beta 4 because if they did that, I would expect them then to move on the weekly schedule when it comes to releasing betas but since there will be these ai features coming to beta 5 most likely then we will have to wait two weeks from the release of beta 4 to get beta 5 and then after that i would actually expect apple to move on a weekly schedule on releasing the next betas of ios 18. so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that like button of course subscribe for more ios 18 videos and i'll see you on the next one